What's up gamers, TCAN here with another video. Well, with Season of Discovery just one week away, I thought it'd be a really cool idea to talk about some of the most difficult, best in slot degen items to obtain for phase one. Most of these items are gonna require either insane luck, completing a very difficult farm, or require a lot of skill to obtain at level 25. Now before we get sweating, let's make sure to hit that like and subscribe button since it helps out the channel. This first item is an absolute classic that has no level requirement. Commonly used by Twinks because of its insane stats. I'm of course talking about Furbolg Medicine Pouch. With the new changes to classes and Season of Discovery, this will be an absolute monster item to get in Phase 1 for Warlock Tanks. This pouch gives a whopping 10 stamina, but unfortunately you can't use the on-use effect because it requires level 50. So this means it'll only be good for Warlock Tanks. Now, you may be asking, how would it even be possible to get this item at such a low level? And the answer is with a lot of time and careful farming. We're going to start by heading to Northern Fellwood, and we're going to be pulling only the melee fur bulks because the caster ones will obviously kill us. Once you have one, we're going to kite it over to this tree, and then by jumping up and down on the tree, the mob won't know the correct path to get to you, and it'll take the long path around. What makes this a complete degenerate farm besides trying to kill level 50s is each one of these gives 5 rep and you'll start at hostile with a timber maw hold. This means you'll need to kill a whopping 3000 fur bulgs just to get to honored so you can get the medicine pouch. Now if you had a party or raid with you I'd be willing to bet that this would go much faster but irregardless you're not going to be seeing many people with this item. This leads me to the second item on my list which is mage weave bandages. Since the level cap is 25, the max first aid that you're going to be able to train is 225, which allows for mage weave bandages. The only problem is, to get mage weave, you need to kill level 35 and above mobs. Now, since you're degenerate and going to be farming timber maw hold rep anyways, we can do this farm down in the south next to Ashenvale. This farm in the south will take you up to a friendly rep, and it's really just the same principle as up in the north. We pull a mob, and we keep hopping up and down the tree branch to kite the mob around. The only difference here is these mobs give mage weave, whereas the mobs up north give rune cloth. Next on the list, we have Spell Power Goggles Extreme. If you are engineering and a spellcaster, this will be the best headpiece that you'll be able to obtain. This headpiece requires 225 engineering to use, and that's the absolute max engineering in phase one. What makes this so hard to acquire is you can only get the schematic from a world drop from higher level mobs. Now, on Wowhead, there's a lot of commenters that also say they fish this out of Stranglethorn in a mithril trunk, but the drop rate is extremely low. People who are chasing Biss are going to be fishing for a long time to get these. The good news is whoever obtains the schematic first can make it for the rest of the engineers, but expect to pay a pretty penny for them. This next item is an item that a lot of people will go for, but it will require an army of people to obtain. I'm of course talking about Arena Grand Master Trinket. This item will be completely busted for all tanks and PvPers at level 25, with an on use that absorbs 750 to 1250 damage and a static 1% dodge. Now, if you want to obtain one of these, you first need to show up to Gurabashi Arena every 3 hours, and then you'll need to win 12 Gurabashi Arena events by collecting the 12 Arena Master Trinkets, and then once you have all those, you can turn them in for the blue Arena Grand Master Trinket. What will make this so difficult to obtain is when you step into the arena, everyone that is not in your group will become hostile, and you'll need to kill everyone else prior to being able to open up the chest in the middle. I'd be willing to bet that there will be Mafia set up, so only certain guilds will be able to obtain this trinket for how good it is. I'm actually really excited to see what this will do for the PvP scene. Following the Arena Grand Master Trinket, we have one of the best leveling staffs in the game that's going to require some insane luck to get. Boasting a whopping 21 shadow damage makes this item bis for both Warlocks and Shadow Priests alike. Staff of the Shade is a BOE item that drops off random mobs in Razorfen Crawl, but what makes this so difficult to get is not only the 1 in a 1000 drop rate, but the mobs in the dungeon are way higher level with the average being about level 29. I imagine not many people are going to be willing to run this dungeon either, considering the blues that drop from the bosses are not even going to be usable until next phase. If someone does happen to get insanely lucky, I imagine this item will probably sell for a fortune on the auction house. Finally, if you enjoy fishing, then you'll enjoy this last item. The Lucky Fishing Hat has the highest stamina in the game for Phase 1. You get this by participating in the Stranglethorn Fishing Extravaganza that starts at 2pm every Sunday and it goes for 2 hours. 
For starters, you'll need a minimum of a fishing skill of 150 just to fish in Stranglethorn, but it's recommended to have 225 if you don't want to miss any of the fish. During this tournament, there will be fishing pools around Stranglethorn where you'll collect speckled tasty fish. There's also a rare fish in these pools where about 1 in every 400 of these tasty fish will yield a Kiefer's Angel fish that you can turn into Fishbot 5000. For your efforts, you'll be rewarded with the lucky fishing hat. And who knows, if you're lucky to catch all the tasty fish, maybe you'll win the tournament and get yourself a cool fishing trinket as well. Well, that's all I had for today. If I missed anything, let me know down in the comments below. Also, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button for future content. Catch y'all later.